Hi lovelies. Hi lovelies. I hope you guys are doing good today. If you're not, come on in. <laughs> this is where we pull a card. Uh, we see what the fuck is up with spirit today, okay? So I got I got my deck. My I, I use the uh, the Somnia Tarot by uh, Nicholas Bruno. Go get you some. It's fucking, I love this deck so fucking much. It was made from his um, nightmares, you know? So just like me, <laughs> born from nightmares. And, and it's just beautiful, all right? <laughs> With that being said, if you guys have never been here before, my name is Sarah Martucci. I'm a psychic medium, a certified crystal healer, a paranormal investigator, a professional cackler, feral yodeler to Jesus, and a feral five-year-old tamer, as well as I got two cats. I'm a cat tamer, too. I'm just trying to live that life, <laughs> okay? All right, you guys, coming in. Uh, whenever the fuck this thing finds you, please trust that timing. I ask that spirit brings this to you guys at just the right time, so please trust if you found this, that it, it's spirits trying to find you too and bring you a message. All right. If you know the song, sing the fuck along. <laughs> well, spirit gonna say today, who motherfucking knows? Can your prayers be fucking nice? Cause I may really, really fucking great. Okay. 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 All right. You guys, we got a major arcana card. Talk about major change, major evolution, major moving forward. Y'all, we got the fucking chariot. We've been, this guy has been off and on, like coming in and out lately so just saying he's been making an appearance so listen whenever the chariot shows up again this is a major arcana card guys this is like a major pivot in our fucking life right now we're at important crossroads and we got to make a decision and especially with this card we got to pick a direction in order to know which way we are fucking going we have to have clarity and direction so this is a call to maybe be here in this moment to really pay attention to what your needs, your wants, your desires are so that you know that you're headed in the right fucking direction, right? Because look at this guy. It's actually the magician. And again, if you have this deck, you know, this is actually the magician up here. So these two guys in here, it looks like they're going in two different directions. This guy is the head of it. He's the one with the candle, with the passion and the power. So again, it's also a general reminder. You are the one in power here. If you want something to go in a certain direction, take it by the balls and tell it where the fuck you want it to go. Okay? Okay. <laughs> All right. With the chariot also stands for the number seven. So I'm looking for these themes to come up around maybe July, the seventh of a month, seven days, seven years, seven farts from now. Pay attention to the number seven, okay? The chariot here also talks about like, again, this is a card of victory and success. This is outward strength that we're showing to the world that we know what the fuck we're doing and we know where the fuck we're going, even if we fucking don't, okay? <laughs> okay? Where strength card is the inner confidence and strength, the chariot card is this outer strength that we're showing to everyone. But again, we got victory and success behind us. So now, which direction do we want to fucking go? Uh, so if we're looking for a yes or no this week, this is a massive yes. But again, we got to know what direction we're going in. Do you have that clarity? Do you have that wherewithal? Do you have the discernment to know where the fuck you got to go next? Are you listening and then taking action on things? All right. Uh, if we were looking around love and relationships, something's about to take the fuck off. <laughs> okay. Maybe here we're just waiting for another person to get on the same page. Maybe here we need to have an important conversation so everybody knows what the fuck we're doing. Maybe there's a little bit of a power imbalance here, okay, uh, with this person um, at the front here. But I would say in terms of love and relationships, somebody might just be coming in with a lot of passion and a lot of love, a lot of feelings, and they would like to let you know in a multitude of different ways, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so get ready for that, okay? <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> we got fire and water here, babes. Whew, that's that's a pretty passionate combo. Um, I want to say here too with the chariot around love and relationships. Um, maybe again, we make a decision as a couple and we're ready to take the fuck off. Maybe for some of you guys, we are maybe celebrating like our seven year anniversary, seven months. Uh, maybe again in July, there might be something coming up here. Uh, this actually feels really beautiful with the chariot. But again, it just feels as though once we make a decision, once we have that clarity, the horses are fucking off. If we're wondering what somebody thinks or feels about us. Uh, somebody here definitely wants to come towards you. Maybe they're ready to like, maybe even physically take a trip with the chariot. Also, the other thing I would say with the chariot, uh, with this, like we might, maybe we'll talk about that later. Uh, we'll get to that at the end. Hopefully if I remember, okay, 
but at least around love and relationships. Um, this is everybody like getting in here together, maybe taking a trip. Maybe this is family and friends coming up. Maybe this is even your loved one. We're about to take a trip here. Maybe in the month of July, this feels like it's going to be gorgeous, but everybody's got to get on the same page. You know what the fuck we're doing? <laughs> okay. So, um, just feels like around love and relationships. When there's a decision, everything moves very quickly. And it also feels like somebody might be coming towards you this week with, uh, with a lot of confidence around the way that they fucking feel. Okay. And they're ready to ask you if you'd like to hop in and take a little fucking ride. If you're into it, baby, take that fucking ride. <laughs> okay. If it's going in the same direction you're going, you feel? All right. If we were looking around work and career, this is gorgeous. This just kind of tells you like to hold on tight again. Maybe for some of you guys, we might be getting like, I know I've said this every time with this card and it just keeps coming up. So I'm just, just going to keep saying it. We might be actually getting a vehicle from work for some of you guys, which is really fucking nice. So a work vehicle, maybe for some of you guys, we might be having to travel a lot here for work. Uh, this is the other thing I wanted to say. This is the card of like movement. Okay. Uh, it also represents like our vehicles and cars. So just make sure with some of you guys that your car is in good working order, especially if you have to travel for work, make sure the tires are rotated, the oil is changed. Everything's looking good. Okay. Make sure we've got everything going so we can be when thundercats are go, we can take the fuck off and we don't need to worry about mundane bullshit with cars. Okay. Especially during Mercury retrograde. Like, look, it's going direct on the 25th. I'm just saying it's not until like mid-May or we chill. <laughs> okay. So take care of your vehicles. Um, maybe even for some of you guys, again, we might be getting a car through work. Um, it just feels like, man, it just kind of feels like right now, get clarity around what the fuck you want to do and then watch as everything takes off. Okay. So really, I just feel like the energy right now is waiting for you to make a decision around what it is that you're actually passionate about. Okay. And that's when the universe is like, Oh, she's fucking ready. And then starts bringing you opportunities. You need to be ready and available for them when the fuck they show up. And it feels like July is going to be really fucking busy. Be prepared for that. Um, I want to say here, maybe around health and healing. Oh, last thing with work and career. If you guys wanted to be, if somebody here wanted to be a mechanic, work on motorcycles, cars, vehicles, fucking two thumbs up this week. Um, if you guys wanted to travel for work, two thumbs up this week. Um, if you guys wanted to be a swim instructor, two thumbs up this week. I don't know. That was fucking random. <laughs> hey, side note. All right. Around health and healing. Maybe it kind of feels like we're going in two different directions with our health and healing. Like we could have two different options here. I, again, I need you to get clarity around what the fuck you want for your health. What the fuck do you actually want with your health? That way we can tell the team that maybe we're working with here around what we want to do, what our decision is. And then everybody backs you up in order to get the thing. I want to say too, we might have to travel for some kind of health and healing this week. Maybe this is for a surgery. Maybe this is just for some kind of clarity. Maybe this is for an x-ray, ultrasound, mammogram, colonoscopy. There's something here that it's not fun, but it's quick. <laughs> Yay! So we're going to have to, even if this is just a biopsy or a quick little procedure, feels like we might be having to travel for that this week. Trust it. Okay. Just know that we're moving in the right direction and where we might get that Thundercats go by July or the 7th of the month. Pay attention to the number seven. Um, I would just say here, yeah, we're going to have to travel for all of our health this week. So don't be afraid to get in the car make sure the car is in good working order. Guys, for anything else this week, I, I would really just say to you that like, make sure your car's in good working order. Okay. Good working order. <laughs> make sure that you're clear on what the fuck you want and what direction you want to be going in. And then be prepared for things to move so fucking fast once you get the bat signal. So say yes to yourself. Don't hold back anymore. And show the world what the fuck you're working with. I'm so proud of you. Keep fucking going. You motherfucking got this. <laughs>